Hello everybody and welcome to the Sanchez Place Europa Universalis 4 as the Ottoman Empire We are nearly done with our achievement run We are in the process of getting Rome And then we only need to core it And we have done our achievement Great news isn't it? But first we gotta conquer Rome and well we are still in a war that is in the process of doing that. So you want to have some peace already. Can we get Rome in the peace? Not yet, but we're getting close. There's an army over here that is heavily wounded. And there's a siege going on over here. What we're gonna do is put some guys over here. And I remember that these guys are still forming up an army, so... We're also getting that ready. And then we of course will try to squish these bohemian... Well, they're not rebels, but... Terrible people at least. Do we want to go and try and catch them? Where are they going? They're oh, they're landing. So, instead we're gonna go here. And try and get more troops over. Because we don't need them in the Papal Lands anymore. So let's get a attacking leader over here and let's attack. Not really winning yet. Putting a couple of reinforcements in. So we can, the peasants are getting uppity, we can enforce some serfdom, or we let things happen. I will enforce some serfdom. And we have won the battle against Bohemia. Now this is the army that's weakened by a lot, so I send them back. And this is the army that is almost ready. And we have also siege Prague. Can we peace out Bohemia by any chance? We can! Ooh, they like it. They are really willing to give up some stuff as well. I can annul your treaties with... The Commonwealth. I like that a lot. I still want to do more. Um, give up some claims? No, that's too much. And all your treaty with Trier. And we pieced them out. Good. This should make the Papal States more receptive towards our cause as well. Russia, Commonwealth, Naples, Papal State and Austria will be in a coalition towards us, but that's fine. Can we get some money, we can. Let's send this. And we are at peace again. And now we can core Rome when we have enough administrative power points. We are still waiting for that at the moment. These guys can now walk home. So let's do that. And the only thing we are now waiting for is the administrative power point so we can core the province of Rome. Oh, I missed the modifier. We, the conquest of Rome. One missionary extra and a yearly prestige point per year as well. Glorious. Yeah, Morocco, we can be friends. No, we don't want an alliance with you. So yeah, I guess this is going to be the end of our uh, campaign then. We succeeded in getting Rome and Muscovy. Uh, it went a lot quicker than I anticipated because I kind of didn't really think we would go for uh, just walking towards Rome, taking it and being done with it. kind of figured we kind of would do something like uh, the whole road towards Rome itself. But this kind of works. And yeah, it's just pretty much ticking by time now. No 
want that many guys in one province. I want them spread out a bit. Get some more ideas. More better morale of navy. A Crimean separatists. Yeah. They're about to pop up. I think this army should be able to be fine on its own over there though. There's one army that's being attrition. It's this one. And if we switch you around, will you be fine then? Yes. And we also lost a claim on this province, so the war was going on long enough already. How hard is a war exhaustion? Really, really low. So it's not that our war exhaustion is high, that, that's the problem actually. It's just that uh, Rome is so expensive to core. You can become the defender of the fate, missionary, moral of army, yearly war exhaustion going down. That's nah, fine. That's pretty good actually. Our prestige, even though it's really high, it only goes down by one per year because we have the conquest of Jerusalem and Rome. Ah, I like it. We gain some piety. And then I think uh, we still want to pump up uh, Constantinople uh, a bit more. Try to get it to the 60 as well so we can have that ci uh, Grand City achievement uh, together with this one as well. But first, Cory Grove. That's the most important part. And we are in the process of coring. We have some free prestige. So we should stay on super high prestige for a bit longer. Still not firing. That's a low chance though. It's only one province that really has a problem. This one. So we can send some guys there. How about now? Yeah, now there is no revolt risk anymore. The Amias actually get some extra influence. We make buckets of ducats. So let's get a level 2 advisor here as well. Which will help a lot with a reduction of our um, aggressive expansion. Some rebels have crossed the border and it doesn't look like they're going away either. That's really annoying because those rebels will now have some extra separatism over there. Uh, no, this army should go back. We don't want to give you any access and once again the commonwealth is being broken up by some rebel forces. Sixty percent towards core construction. We're losing claims left and right but that's fine we don't need them. I'm gonna wait with this a little bit as well. Eighty, come on. We're at ninety percent, and then it should be a month tick, I believe. Finish conversion, converting. There are not that many places that are still well, actually quite a lot, more than I anticipated. So we have a core in Rome and you can't see it but achievement did pop up here. Definitely the Sultan of Rome. What's the list here still? Definitely the Sultan of Rome. So yeah, we did it. Let's see if we can get that uh, city to 60% as well. Uh, for 60 development. 
Uh, we have the most of this, so let's do one, two, three. Wait a couple of months. Siege ability is better. Because we can't build a university yet, right? Yeah. 58. Two more. Come on, people. We want to increase this city power. Blasphemy. Game piety. Burn it at stake. We don't tolerate blasphemy over here. Heretics, and yeah, this should be the last one. Uh, I think then we are at 60. Lost the claim, and there it is City of Cities. Hooray! So we did uh, two achievements, that's uh, really good. I'm really happy with this, makes my life so much cooler. Can't really get these yet. Dismantle this Roman Empire, maybe, but I, it's a lot of effort. Yeah, I think, yeah, Unify Islam could also go for that, but. Let's see. Oh, we have a Protestant. Has any pro provinces center of reformation? Province as a center of reformation. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, that actually this is going to be it. That this is going to be the end of the Ottomans campaign. Um, we did uh, do some really cool expansions, and I really enjoyed it. Of course, this is a relatively easy campaign because the Ottomans are so gosh darn powerful. But I really enjoyed it anyway because I never really played like with the Ottomans before, and now I did. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm not sure if there will be a new Europe Universalis campaign coming up again soon. But maybe we'll switch over to some Crusader Kings. The Conclave expansion just came out and I've been fiddling with that a little bit. So maybe we're going to do something like that. But until then, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.